I had a special surprise prepped and everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. Get out alive is not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does. Man, the rope's too tight. I can't free myself. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. We got the rope. Oh, 
you motherfucker! <laughs> the bitch has got one of us! <laughs> Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult us with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders, one way or another. After this, you'll start seeing a significant change. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side, now let's return to that moment of choice, and instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade, but this in turn attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. <laughs> down again, bring her home. I had no idea how wrong I was, and how far I would really have to go. Search for the missing girl continues in the DVD. Your hysterics aren't helping. Stop calling me. Ugh. <sighs>
Stay behind your sister, Hugo. Get out! Amicia! <laughs> <laughs> 
really doing this? Moving so far away from civilization to be the man who will turn the tide of war when everything else fails. Millions of lives are at stake. And I have to save them, finish my work, break the code before it breaks me. Time is not on my side. Determination means everything now. For too long I've been misled, but the answer was there, right in front of me. in with R.I.P. the last couple of days? Why? One of my men escaped a ripper camp that tortured like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men. The ripper called them mongrels. You ask me? You got a price on your head. You know same as me. Anything that happens here is far better than what's going on out there. stories of the world before the reckoning. A world before the monsters. Nobody knows where the root came from. Or why they're after us. But they're there. In the dark. Some of the last humans with the way they live are monsters too. The rest of us hold our own, but the root keep coming. Life here will never be like the stories once told, but this place is home, and we never stop the fight to take it back. So what are we in 
for? Eh, it's not too bad. A lot of walkers. There's a shitload of the family everywhere. I think I can see the purifier. They've already hooked it up. Maya, Aiden, where are you? <laughs> We found a way in, south side of the camp. Anderson, we spotted the purifier. But I'm not sure about this. There is no other way. We need to get it back. Do it fast and stay quiet, or every walker in the city's gonna turn up. Someone's here! Forbidden love uncovers the mystery that lies deep inside, the story of a faithful lover held captive at her family's side, beasts pursuing, seek my undoing. On seeing our demise. Her will consenting. Evil preventing.